10 banned candies that can kill. Number 10, Hippie Sippy. The 60s were a more experimental time, and that's probably the only explanation for how a product like Hippie Sippy ever made it onto shelves. The sweet treat consisted of multicolored chocolate balls that were contained within a vial, and to get to them, you had to suck through the needle. The similarities to drug use weren't accidental, but were in fact the whole point of this candy. It was designed to replicate hippie drug culture, with the needle and syringe being associated with heroin use, and the colored balls representing uppers and downers. To make things even worse, each hippie sippy came with a button that had slogans such as, Hippie Sippy says I'll try anything, and We Sell Happiness. Needless to say, scents prevailed and the products were pulled from the shelves less than a year after being released. Making drug use feel fun to children clearly risks them moving on to harder candies later in life, so this could have potentially been one of the most dangerous products to ever have been developed. Number 9. Kinder Eggs and Wonder Balls The only way chocolate could be made any better for kids is if it includes a plastic toy to play with once all the sugary goodness is gone. And that's exactly what Kinder Eggs and Wonder Balls tried to offer. The Kinder version is available around the world, and each one contains a plastic egg that contains a collectible toy to assemble. But for a long time, they've been banned in the U.S. It's all because of a law that was introduced in the 1930s that strictly prohibited non-nutritive objects from being embedded within any type of food. The concern was that some people wouldn't be aware there's something in the treat that can't be eaten, and it would therefore pose a serious choking hazard. While this may seem like overzealous lawmaking, the concerns aren't completely unfounded. In 2016, a three-year-old girl in France died after choking on a toy in a Kinder Egg, and there have been a number of instances elsewhere where injuries have happened because of swallowing the plastic figurines. Mm -hmm. Despite repeated attempts to finally bring the candies to the U.S., it looks as if the ban is here to stay. Number 8. Toxic Waste Chew Bar Toxic waste candy has become popular recently because of its extreme sourness. But there was one product in the range, the Toxic Waste Nuclear Sludge Chew Bar, that was banned in 2011. It had been originally launched in 2007, but there were serious concerns about the ingredients that were used to make the candy. Not as you might suspect in regards to how they made it so sour, but more as a result of where and how they were produced. The company's factory was in Pakistan, and following tests, the FDA revealed that they had detected significant levels of lead within the chew bars, to a level that could be potentially harmful to small children, infants, and pregnant women. Regulations require lead levels to be below 0.1 parts per million, and the bars were found to have at least three times this limit. Candy Dynamics, the company that sells the toxic waste range of candies, complied with the recall. The bars were removed from stores, and instead of reworking the recipe, they gave up on that particular candy for good. This is pretty bad. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Top Fives with notifications on. Number seven, Roadkill Gummy Candy. There are countless different versions of gummy candy available in stores. And in 2004, Kraft thought they had come up with an idea that would help them stand out among the rest. Roadkill-themed gummy candies. Each one was in the shape of chickens, squirrels, and snakes with tire tracks on them. But what was intended to be a tongue-in-cheek joke soon began to cause problems. They ended production of the treats the following year after a series of campaigns by animal rights activists who claimed they trivialized the idea of injuring animals. Through fears that the product sent a message to children that it was okay to harm animals, Kraft was forced to relent and rethink their strategy. Number 6. Lucas Mexican Candy Candy from South America is one of the most in-demand products around the world, but a company called Lucas began targeting their products at children, and it was controversial from the beginning. Known as Lucas Mexican Candy, the powdered candy was sold in a shaker container that children would use to shake it into their mouths. Others were seen shaking the powder onto a table, arranging it into a line, and then sniffing it, which immediately worried people about the similarity with drug use. Lucas claimed that this was the result of using the product wrong and that it was designed to be lightly sprinkled on fruit to make it taste better. 
but they should have known that kids would find a less healthy way of consuming it. The company's undoing in the end wasn't because they were teaching children how to partake in adult candy, though, but because of what their products contained. Tests showed that it had more than twice the allowed levels of lead and was so immediately banned by regulators. Number 5. Haribo Sugar-Free Gummy Bears Haribo is one of the world's most popular candy brands, but despite making plenty of products that kids and grown-ups love, they haven't always gotten things right. In 2014, their sugar-free gummy bears gained attention because of some rather unfortunate side effects that were experienced by people who ate them in large quantities. <laughs> the reason for this was the replacement of the sugar used in normal recipes with lycosin, a substance that's almost as sweet as sugar, but contains half the calories. Its main ingredient is malitol, which is a sugar alcohol, but our bodies can't fully digest it, and if it's present in high enough quantities, it can start to ferment in the stomach. Because of this, the Amazon reviews were rather detailed, with some calling it napalm and saying that it caused intestinal distress and reminiscent of trumpets calling demons back to hell. Number 4. Exploding Gum Candy companies are always coming up with new varieties of tried and tested favorites, but there is such a thing as going too far. A Ukrainian chemistry student learned this to his cost in 2009 after supercharging his bubble gum with tragic results. He liked to increase the sour taste of his favorite brand, so he would often dip it into citric acid before chewing. On this occasion, however, he used the wrong powder and instead dipped it in explosives. All it took was one chew and his gum exploded his jaw, and most of the lower part of his face were blown clean off and he died soon after. And on his Needless to say, this particular recipe for gum won't be making its way onto shelves anytime soon. Number 3. Free Candy You might think that the best kind of candy is free candy, but in Madrid, Spain, the traditions of giving any sweet treats for free has actually been banned. On the 5th of January each year, towns across the country hold a Christmas parade called Cabagata de Reyes, which sees three wise men greeting children before handing out gifts. The men are taken through the streets to a church in a carriage, and part of the tradition involves throwing candy from the carriage into the crowds. It has, however, led to a number of injuries as children scramble to collect what they can, and in 2013, a six-year-old boy in Malaga was killed when he went into the street to collect some candy and was hit by the carriage. Rules are now in place to prevent such a tragedy from ever happening again, and children in the region will have to resort to getting their candy the same way as the rest of us, by pestering their parents until they relent. Number 2. Lollipipe Even though lollipipes were never intended to be sold to children, their availability in a wide range of flavors meant that it was inevitable that kids would get their hands on them, and this posed a real problem. Made from candy, these pipes were designed for smoking certain substances through, and one of their marketing claims was that they were flame-proof, so could be used time and time again. They became really popular with smokers, but they were believed to encourage children to try out what they were designed for, and this resulted in a significant increase in drug use by underage people. The pipe was banned from sale in every 7-Eleven store in Indiana following complaints by parent groups and they are now very difficult to get a hold of in physical stores, with those who really want one having to rely on purchasing them online. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I really want to lick it. Oh. Number one, candy cigarettes. Candy cigarettes first began to be sold in the late 1800s and were made from sugar, gum, or chocolate that was wrapped in a paper in a pack that resembled a box of cigarettes. Some varieties even included powdered sugar that you could blow through the candy stick to simulate smoke. They began to be seen as a way to desensitize children to the idea of smoking, however. And for a time, cigarette manufacturers even helped with the production of the candy and allowed their branding to be used on packets. As medical organizations began to become more aware of the dangers of smoking, these collaborations became less common, and the products have now been banned in virtually every country around the world, apart from the U.S. and Canada. Studies have shown that a surprising percentage of smokers had candy cigarettes when they were younger compared to people who don't smoke, so the link between the two has been proved to be significant. What seems like an innocent children's treat 
is probably responsible for the most deaths of any candy ever, and it's no surprise that very few places now allow them to be sold. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.